Hey everybody, my name is Brandon. Welcome back to Cine Fashions, where we talk all things media. So the month of September ended up being a pretty big one for me when it comes to not only just new releases that I grabbed, but also new items that I picked up from wherever, some from Amazon and some from eBay. Today I have a stack of 20 new items I picked up on Blu-ray and 4K in the month of September. So this is a big one. Let's not waste any time at all. Let's dive right into my September Blu-ray and 4K haul. I'll start off with the Blu-rays, and first up here is a film that I saw in theaters with my daughter, and we both really loved it. I grabbed Inside Out 2. So you might be wondering why I grabbed Inside Out 2 on Blu-ray and not 4K, but to that I would say go check out my anticipated releases video for the month of September when I covered that in full, but essentially the only way to get this movie on 4K is with the Steelbook, and I had it pre-ordered on Amazon, but the price was just ridiculous. So I said forget it, I'm just going to spend significantly less and I'll just grab the Blu-ray on this because I don't want to support that ridiculous price practice of having astronomically priced 4K steelbooks, so I grabbed it on Blu-ray instead. Just an amazing film. I really like this one. Cannot wait to revisit it with my wife because she hasn't seen it yet and my daughter is excited to show her. So we have Inside Out 2. Here's one of those random eBay pickups. This is Dear Zachary. Now you probably won't even be able to see the title on that, but this is a documentary film and it's a true crime film. And it is genuinely one of the absolute saddest things you can ever watch. But it is phenomenal. This is such a fantastic movie. I saw this many years ago streaming and I fell in love with it then. And I have not watched it again since then. And if you've seen the movie, you know why. Because this is not one that you'll want to revisit a lot. But I was listening to my favorite true crime podcast recently, Gen Y or Generation Y. And they were talking about this story, which reminded me. I don't have that on physical media at all. So I looked it up and it was on Blu-ray, fortunately. I can't remember. Oh yeah, Oscilloscope Association. That's what this is from. So yeah, I don't know if that logo is familiar with you. But anyway, just an amazing film. So I needed it in the physical media collection. From eBay, I picked up Dear Zachary. The next trio here are all movies that I wanted to own on Blu-ray, but was waiting for a sale. And fortunately on Amazon, all three of these came down on uh, different sales for good prices. So I had to grab them. This first one here does not get a lot of love at all, but I watched it. I think it was like the first or second movie I watched this year. My uh, brother-in-law gave me the DVD because he had it. And so he let me borrow that. And I liked it a heck of a lot. I, I don't want to say love. I think I gave it like three and a half out of five. Like this is a really good movie though. We have... The Last Voyage of the Demeter. And I always mess that last word up, so correct me down below. But yeah, this is just a really good Dracula film. This is like the, uh, it says on the bottom here, The Legend of Dracula is Born. So maybe a Dracula prequel, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it was really well done. I thought it was told really well. It was creepy at points. The CGI is not the greatest thing in the world, but I can totally look past that because I think this is a really strong film that I grabbed for 10 bucks recently. So highly recommend this one if you haven't seen it. Don't believe all the negativity around it. You might give it a chance. Maybe you'll like it like I did. We have The Last Voyage of the Demeter. And another one that had a sale just a few days ago now is a film that I wanted to see in theaters and so did my wife, but we didn't get around to it. So had to grab it. It dropped down to $15. We have Abigail. Now this is one that I believe I, I heard somewhere that it is getting a 4K release, but I just want to see it. So for 15 bucks, I'm happy to have it in the collection. And of course that is my daughter's name. So she was very excited to see that she had a, a, a na her name in the collection here, but of course, I told her she can't watch this one, unfortunately, but anyway, excited to check out Abigail. Here's another one that I really just want to see, and it dropped below $10, so I decided to grab Renfield. So, of course, a Nicolas Cage film here, and I've heard actually pretty decent things about this. I think when it first hit streaming, didn't get a lot of love, but now that it's been out a little bit longer and it's on home media, I have heard more positive things about it. So, I'm interested to see where I fall. I love Nick Cage. Chances are I'm probably going to enjoy this one, but yeah, happy to have Renfeld, Renfeld, Renfield in the collection. Another one that's a really good price on Amazon, and it was only like $12 or something like that, and so I decided to upgrade my DVD copy, 
with Darkman Trilogy. So like I said, I own basically this exact same release, but on DVD, so I figured for $11, $12, whatever it is, I might as well upgrade to the Blu-rays. So very interested to check out the sequels to this because I've only seen the original, which I own on Scream Factory, so I have that one on Boutique Blu-ray, but I only had the other two on DVD and I haven't seen them, so I figured this would be the best way to check them out. We have the Darkman Trilogy. The last two Blu-rays I picked up last month were both boutique releases. So this first one here, I was watching Planet CHH and he talked about how this is a great film and whenever he sees people put Scream Factory collections up, they don't have Alone in the Dark. And that's one he thinks everyone should have who likes Scream Factory releases. So had to grab it. Like I said, have never seen this one. Uh, bought it brand new right off Amazon and it came with a slip cover. I think I posted an Instagram post on this because it looked awesome that it had the slip cover but then if you look on the back there it was this big sticker it was not coming off easily i did get it off for the most part but i de definitely damaged the slip cover which is disappointing but either way happy to have this in the collection can't wait to check it out hopefully this halloween season this is alone in the dark when I was at Walmart the other day, I was surprised to see that my local Walmart had a Terror Vision release. We have Frogman. So of course everyone is finding this at Walmart this past month and I'd never even heard of it, frankly, but I watched somebody's video and they talked about that this is a found footage film. Need say no more. I had to pick this one up, especially when I happened to come across it at my Walmart. So very intrigued. I'm just noticing now that the front cover is a frog. That's awesome. So anyway, looks creepy. Can't wait to see it. We have Frogman from Terror Vision. The first two of the 4Ks today are both titles that were ones I wanted, but was waiting on a sale for, and that's exactly what happened. So first up, we have the creepy doll movie of Generation Z, I guess. We have Megan. Now, this was a film I watched on streaming, and I thought it was pretty darn good. Another one I gave three and a half out of five stars. I've heard excellent things about this 4K release, but I was just waiting for it to get a little bit cheaper, and I think it finally dropped down to just under 15 bucks. So, very happy to have this in the collection as we get ready for the sequel. We have Megan. The other one that I probably should have watched on streaming first because I've not heard great things about it, but I wanted it in the collection because I have the rest of the series. This is Pet Cemetery Bloodlines. So this, of course, is the prequel story to Stephen King's Pet Cemetery, or at least the movies that it's based off of. And so, like I said, not heard a lot of great things, but it's going to be in the collection one way or the other. And for $10, because this dropped just under $10 bucks, uh, just a few days ago now, so I had to grab it. This is Pet Cemetery Bloodlines. All right, looking at some new releases now on 4K. This first one here, the slipcover actually got damaged on this one, uh, it, thanks to the Amazon putting it in a paper bag and then setting it out on my porch in a rainstorm. So that was awesome. But anyway, it's not terrible, but I do have another one on order, as you can see. This is Long Legs. So here's another movie I saw in theaters this year and I really enjoyed another three and a half out of five for me. But uh, probably my favorite Nicolas Cage role in, man, many, many years. I think he's excellent in this one. Highly recommend it. This is Long Legs. I keep forgetting that this one is actually a Blu-ray release and not a 4K release because I ended up going with the cheaper Steelbook version. This is Late Night with the Devil. So again, this is Blu-ray, not 4K. That's my mistake here. But yeah, great movie. Another one I saw in theaters. Super unique. And I just, I highly recommend this one. And the Steelbook looks awesome. I can't wait to actually get it opened up and watch it again. This is Late Night with the Devil. Who's ready for the boutique labels? Because that's pretty much all we have left here. So first up is one that I talked about in my recent new release review video that I did where I covered three and I called this one a 4K of the year contender. We have Arrow Video's release of Friday the 13th, 2009. Awesome movie, loved it even more this time through than I did last time when I watched it around this, this time last year and highly recommend this release. Like I said, probably my favorite 4K of the year so far. Just an awesome release. We have Friday the 13th, 2009. So full disclosure, I had no intention of buying this next one until I went on Blu-ray.com and started looking at the special features. And there are just a ridiculous amount here. And 
While I don't love this movie, as I've said multiple times on this channel, I do think it's interesting what, that what, what Arrow Video is doing with these releases. So I had to grab The Chronicles of Riddick. Like I said, not my favorite movie. This one, nor Pitch Black, which I have both of them in my collection from Arrow. And then Riddick, another film in this franchise, is coming out on 4K also, but not from Arrow Video. So that's a little bit disappointing, but either way, still cool to have these two. But this the past month here, I ended up running up to Barnes & Noble to get it during their half-off sale. We have The Chronicles of Riddick. Let's move over to Scream Factory now, and looking through here, I've talked about all three of these releases already on the channel here, but first up, we have Doomsday. This is a super underrated film back from 2007, 2008, I forget which year, 2008, I think, and it's directed by Neil Marshall. It's a post-apocalyptic film. It is awesome. Check out my recent new release review video here that I posted recently, and you'll hear my full thoughts on Doomsday on 4K from Scream Factory. One I did a standalone review on, we have The Boy. This movie is really good, and I don't think it gets nearly enough love. So, so happy to see this one get this release from Scream Factory. Again, a full 4K review here is up on the channel, so check that out. We have The Boy. And finally from Scream Factory, another 4K review here on the channel of The Amityville Horror. Another one that's just a good movie. Just a lot of three and a half out of fives today, because that's where this one falls also. But special features on here are great. Really good release also. Another standalone 4K review is available if you're interested. This is The Amityville Horror. For some reason last month, I got the itch to rewatch the movie Suspiria, the original one. And so I decided, you know what? The best way to watch this is in 4K, and Synapse is supposed to have an amazing release on 4K. So I ended up doing it, even though it's a movie I didn't like the first time I saw it, but I have a feeling I might enjoy it better the second time through. So I grabbed Suspiria on 4K from Synapse. Now, like I said, haven't watched it yet. I am waiting for this year's 13 Days of Halloween. Maybe I'll get around to it at that point, but excited to check out Suspiria. So one of my grails that I've been wanting on 4K was the Underworld box set that they released a number of years ago now. It almost immediately went out of print and I didn't pull the trigger on it right when it came out and now it goes for ridiculous amounts of money on eBay. Well, fortunately, the UK release of this or the Region B release of this, I should say, came out recently and you can grab it right on Amazon for a reasonable price. So I now have the Underworld collection in my collection and that makes me thrilled because I have wanted this 4K box set for the longest time. Now, full disclosure, this is not the same box set as the original. The original had a top that like pulled off and opened up that way. This doesn't, this just has a regular pop open on the top. So the release itself is not nearly as cool or as nice, but the discs on the inside are the exact same, which frankly is why I wanted this one. So cannot wait to watch this whole series. I've seen the original and I love it. And I feel like this is make, gonna make it even better. So super excited to have this in the collection now after all this time, even though it's kind of a, a nerfed release, it's still pretty awesome. This is the Un Underworld 5 Film Collection. And what may be the coolest pickup from last month, I decided to spend some of my saved up eBay money and put it towards this incredible Region B box set release of Dawn of the Dead. So this is an amazing zombie film. Some would say one of the best. Some would say one of the best horror films ever made, period. I'd say it's just an amazing movie that is one of my favorites. And so I cannot wait to dive into this full box set. There are so many different cuts of this movie, as you can see on the back there and in 4K. So this is awesome. And of course, it's it's region free because the 4K discs on the inside are region free. So cannot wait to check this out. This is the, the coolest release for this month that I picked up, even though it's not a release from this month, but the coolest new item I grabbed from this month. Cannot wait, this is so cool. We have Dawn of the Dead from Second Sight on 4K. All right, so clearly I have been ready for the spooky season since last month and I'm so happy it's here. October is shaping up to be awesome, so can't wait to see where the rest of the month takes us. But let me know what you grabbed last month brand new. I think my stack here is 
one of my favorites of the year, I'll say so far, but you guys, you know October is a ridiculously big month for new releases, so we'll see where October takes us. But thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Leave any and all thoughts down in the comments below. I appreciate all support down there, so thank you guys so much for that. But before you guys take off, I will just encourage you all to consume some media today. Thank you again so much for checking this one out. I will catch you all next time.